What's up, everybody? This is AG Chopsticks, and it's time for something I haven't done in a while, and that's a mail call. Got some packages when I was on the road last, and I want to get into them, look to see what we have, and see what it's going to work on for our set. So let's see what we got. So these are all Dansko 7070 mail calls. So that's my US type set book. So let's see what we picked up in the mail. First one here is an eBay purchase from Bob's Large Sense on eBay. <clears throat> and what did we end up getting from Bob? Nice. We ended up getting an 1810 Large Scent. So 1810, large scent has been added to the things I have to put in my book. So that is awesome, we'll get that out of the way. The next one we have here, this one's slightly heavier. Oh, cause that's because it's in a capsule. All right, so the next thing that we have here, and this was a Facebook purchase off a group I belong to, and it is going to be an encapsulated XF40 1837 half dollar. So this is the reeded edge half dollar and not the lettered edge half dollar cap bust. And it's got some great details in it. So that is awesome. I hate to crack it, but it's gonna be cracked eventually. So we got a half dollar to add to the mix. Let's see here, we got another package to go. Wow, we got two more packages to go, but also already two really awesome coins to add to that overall collection. We'll get Bob's information out of the way there. Let's see here. This next one we have is also in a capsule, and it is an 1851 in an annex, so I don't feel too bad about cracking this. And this is an 1851 cleaned F15 details, because it's cleaned half cent. And it's actually got some amazing toning to it. So this one will definitely be cracked, but it is a half cent in an annex case that will be no longer caseified once we get down the road. So I'm thinking some of these I'm gonna have to do cases with because just, you gotta make sure you get in the real stuff. The next thing we got, oh, and this is in a nice little paper wrapper here. And it's in a homemade case or a home bought case, but that's okay. I know the seller really well. And so when he said that he had an 1842 seated dollar um, in VG in his personal grave, I was all about that. So very nice, you know, some definite details left on the feathers here. And once we get to in and putting them in the book, we'll get better details on them, but wow. Very, very cool. And I saved this one for last. This is a trifecta. So there's gonna be three different pieces in here for us to ogle together. Let's see what our first one is. Okay. So our first one is another dollar. So joining our dollar here, our seated dollar. This is an 1878 detail, so it was cleaned as well. And I'm okay with that, um, just because the first round going through this book um, but it is a trade dollar. So we got an 1876 S trade dollar. So very, very nice. And this comes from uh, TJ's Coins and Currency. This is somebody I deal with off of Facebook. It's also relatively close to me. So um, I like him as well. So an 1876 trade dollar goes on the board. Our next piece here is going to be, come on. Okay, so this is my oldest U.S. coin that I've ever purchased. This is a literal 1800s, 1800 on the dot, large cent. And now this is A, G to G, and again, I'm fine with that for now um, because this is a 221-year-old coin. Um, so we have a 1800 large cent going into the mix there. And last but not least for this mail call, again from TJ's as well, picked up three items from him, it is going to be an 1870 large 
uh, Larson, 1870 seated Liberty dollar. So very cool. You got the motto there. It's just a beautiful coin. So outstanding. That is what we have for packages for our Dansko 7070. So one of the next videos you're going to see is maybe putting some of these away. Thanks for watching. Um, it's not taken me a long time, but I've had to do some dealings and some wheelings and some trading and some moving. And, you know, as you can see here, my patience has paid off. I've got some beautiful coins here. Um, they're going to be amazing to go into my collection. So thank you for watching. Uh, be kind to each other. Still be safe. It's not the greatest time right now, still with everything going on. So be safe, be kind, and we will see you on the next video.